So thank you so much for joining us here this morning. I'm Bill Wixie. I'm Liz Dewicki. Before we get to our crews, we're also joined in studio uh, by our Fox 13 political analysts as well as they are getting set, ready to go here. Uh, so thanks so much for, for joining us. All right. So it, it's, it's good to have you both this morning. So let's start with uh, some of your thoughts on, on last night's result. It was not the, the red wave that we anticipated. Well, it was much less than the red wave. I mean, it, it, was, it was a nice night for Kathy. Uh, still a lot of votes here, so we, we have to have a lot of patience before we get to the end. But there are fewer opportunities for Republicans to have good news coming out of Washington State than there were going into the election when it seemed like the momentum uh, was behind the Republican candidate. And Kathy, I mean, when we talk about that, uh, how, how, what's your expectation? I mean, the, the turnout for the midterms this time around? I think we're going to end up being at over 70 percent. Wow. And uh, here for, in Washington, given the fact that they only counted somewhere in the neighborhood of 39 percent yesterday, and we know there's a, in, just in King County alone, there's 150,000 votes already in, not counting those that are coming in today, tomorrow, and the next day. So I'm going to say you're going to see that up to about 70. I think I have a, a bet with Randy that it's going to be at 76 percent. Was that, was that the bet going in? Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I thought 72 percent. And, and, and that's one of the things that's still up in the air is where are those votes out? I mean, yeah. who, who voted exactly. late? Who, who, who put it in the drop box on the last day? Because that's what we're going to be counting over the next two days. Typically, which party does that favor, the late mail-in vote? You know, when, when I started <laughs> uh, in, in, in this business way back in the last century, um, you know, Republicans always had the late absentees. Then it went to the Democrats. Mm -hmm. A couple of years ago, Republicans re-engaged and started voting later. So there are, there are some who say it's going to be Republican ballots. I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. Which campaigns were putting that emphasis on getting their people to vote right at that last minute and dragging out the, you know, that last 100 votes? Because a couple of the races are going to come down to that. Right. You know, the interesting thing to me is that it's not so much the where the votes are coming from right now, it's the age disparity. Oh, right. And I've got to say that I still think that uh, we usually get like 17% of the people under the age of 35 that actually vote of those who are registered. But the fact is, is that they're, they weren't uh, in terms of what we saw yesterday. Every, it, it's very highly skewed to older people. And that's usually something that happens in local races, but not necessarily when you get, get to midterm. Yeah. Were you surprised by that? I am. Yeah. I, I, I'm thinking of all those young people that I've said, including Brandy and I, we teach at the University of Washington, and we're like, hey, you guys, you all said you were going to go vote. Now, where, where did you go? Right. You know, it's sort of, at this point, we still haven't seen them. Right. But, where did uh, they go? But that should be, I'm going to say that's part of what Randy, the answer to Randy's question is, is that, yes, they are there. They are late. One thing we know about students is they don't do anything until you bag them eight <laughs> yeah. times. We're, we're procrastinators. <laughs> That's it. That's right. That's we it. have a lot more to cover on elections this morning.